So here's what I picked up at auction. And first of all was this plexiglass and wood case. Uh, it'll hopefully mount up on the wall and I'll be able to put a bunch of, uh, I'm thinking railway or military stuff in it. And then we've got this box of stuff. Somebody's artwork, I guess you could say. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Depends on how it's mounted and uh, I might strip them all off and just put them in a bag of junk jewelry, but it wasn't what I was after in that lot. I was actually after this particular uh, kind of a folky dog portrait. I just kind of liked it, so I was bidding mainly on it. So I'm happy to get it. Uh, it'll probably go in my own collection of dog paintings. So that's that. And like I said, I got these two Christmas trees. Uh, they light up. You can see they got lights in the back. So somebody's creation, signed by the artist, 1980. But uh, yeah, so they're basically jewelry that they've destroyed. And uh, I'll check all the jewelry out. For example, here's a ring. There's a ring here. Um, I'm pretty sure it's junk, yeah. But we'll check the jewelry out and see if there's anything special. And the rest of it's just kind of junk. We've got some frames and uh, a 40s picture there. These are kind of coming into vogue a little bit for uh, cabin decor, but um, this one's marked Flin Flon. And that's actually a town in Manitoba. But uh, it's got a little bit of damage. But anyway, it was just part of the lot, so no loss. The rest is just kind of junk, so we'll leave that. Now the next box. Now this next box looks attractive just because it's shiny. But uh, I was bidding on it thinking that these were possibly sterling. Uh, the auctioneer had put the stuff up as stainless steel. So when I saw that, I thought, oh, okay, they might have just been a, not thinking and typed stainless steel instead of uh, silver, sterling silver or something. Just a total, took a total flyer on it and uh, paid a little more than I should have. Uh, but these came with it by the looks of it. I'm not sure if these were in this particular lot or another lot of uh, silver plate that I bought, but it's a sterling silver uh, set of uh, brush and mirror and comb. So I'll scrap them out because they're kind of in crappy shape. Um, but uh, yeah, so some more sterling. We're really adding up to the sterling. We've got well over a kilo so far of sterling. So anyway, so that was cool. Like I said, they're all sterling silver right there. And same with the comb. I think it said the comb was broken or something, which I really don't care about because I'm going to smack it up anyway. And, uh, whoops. There you go. And uh, yeah, the back piece of the comb there is sterling silver as well. So no... Uh, Harm, and like I said, it's they're just going to get scrapped anyway. And this rest of this stuff, uh, I'll probably be able to sell this set for what I paid for the lot. Maybe, probably more than what I paid for the lot, but it's not sterling. It's just silver plate on copper. So theoretically, I could scrap it as copper, but they're just too nice to do that. But this sort of stuff. I just scrap out as copper. Um, it's just, it sits around way too long. Um, you notice this is an electric plate on copper. And that's what a lot of this will be. I'm pretty sure most of these trays will be EP on copper or brass or steel. So yeah, nothing special. Um, I suppose there's some more copper. It's nice and pretty and all that, but they just don't sell. So. Yeah. So, 
we'll uh, scrap a bunch of that out and uh, sell the coffee and tea set as uh, one lot and we'll see what it uh, what I can get for it now the next box so in this box uh, there's one lot that happened to have this Buckeye tin this is a cigar tin uh, for Perfecto's Buckeye cigars um, and uh, it's from the that company out of Winnipeg and Montreal which is cool so really nice tin probably a 45 maybe 65 dollar tin in that state so that's cool and Queen, Queen Mary tin these are pretty common but still good for 10 bucks and a cigar box Armada cigars and uh, I always look on the inside anything on the inside sometimes they're made for the railways and the like but this one isn't so just a cigar box nothing special and then I bought a bunch of cutlery it was cheap it was like eleven dollars or sixteen seventeen dollars something like that I was hoping there was some sterling in there so I bid on these uh, this batch of cutlery hoping there was some sterling in there but I was wrong. Uh, the gamble didn't pay off. Uh, it's all silver plate, every bit of it. Um, there's some big serving pieces and such in there, so I'll still make money on it, but uh, I was hoping for some instantaneous cash. Um, but anyway, uh, even at a buck a piece or 50 cents a piece, I'll get my money back or make a profit. So. So that's fine, not a big deal, it was just a gamble. And then got stuff for the thrift shop, more stuff for the thrift shop, and more for the thrift shop. And then we have this cutlery case. Now let's see what's in it. Oh, wait a sec, here's a tin, cute little tin. Good for five or six bucks, something like that. But let's see what's in this box here now. So I took a sneak peek, but here we go. Here's what's in the case. It's actually quite a neat old case, but uh, here's what it is. Now I was thinking, I saw these bundled up and I thought, ah, oh, okay, there's some sterling there. But I was wrong again. Um, not sterling. But, there was some sterling, as it turns out. All these little spoons are sterling silver. They're hallmarked, so I guess they uh, missed that. So that's all right. I'll get my money back out of them. Uh, I thought this was a sterling handled cake breaker. Uh, Angel food cake breaker. You'll see one of these in my What's It videos as well. Uh, a lot of times these have a sterling handle or Bakelite handle. Uh, this one's silver plate, unfortunately. But it's possible that it's worth some money to a outfit like Replacements Limited or something like that. Uh, we'll see. We'll look up the pattern and uh, see what an angel food cake breaker. I suspect it's probably $25, $30. But uh, that's what that is. And some serving pieces, uh, these are no big deal. These are modern, this particular cake uh, server. And the rest of this, I think, is probably pretty modern too. Um, this is just silver plate. And I think silver plate. There's a baby set, so who knows? I think that's, and this one is, what is that, silver plate as well? Yep, silver plate. So I think basically we got a bunch of silver plate. Uh, at least the little, those little, um, I forget what they're called. Those uh, little spoons are, are um, sterling, but uh, and these have a false, Sterling mark on them are false. Yeah, they're just silver plate as well, unfortunately. 
still those will be worth selling in a set for $30 or so. I'll make money on these, no problem. And there's some demi tasse spoons. Oh, we've got some. Ah, we got some sterling again. There's a little sterling spoon I see in there. Let's see. Let's dig these out. All right, let's unwrap these and see what we have. Oh, here's an Order of Eastern Star. That's a women's Masonic organization and it's uh, sterling silver as well and we have two of those so we got a little more sterling there oh we have three of those so three sterling order of the Eastern Star not sure if I'll scrap those or not um, and then we have some demi tasse spoons that's nothing some uh, souvenir spoons, that's nothing, nothing. And here's a, whoa. what is that? Can you read that? Well, I can't. Uh, City of something, City of Brandon, Manitoba. So yeah, Burke's Regency plate, so that's plated. So those are nothing special. Whoa, we almost had a disaster there. And yeah, so I think I think we're looking at about it um, for silver and such. So there's a little pile of silver in there. There's some demi test spoons, some souvenir spoons, and such. So we might be able to wholesale some of it to somewhere like, uh, like I said, Replacements Limited or just put it on Etsy perhaps. Oh, there's another sterling spoon. So yeah, we're getting a bit of sterling. Anyway, that's it for the up uh, for the uh, box. Boxes, boxes, boxing, unboxing. So thanks for watching. Uh, do appreciate the views. Please be sure to like and subscribe and take care.